Hey everybody, it's Granny with 73, and I wanted to show you this amazing fairy oracle deck that my son got me today. It comes with this beautifully illustrated book, and this book is like, seriously, I've been reading some of it, and it's all about how the the um, artist chose the the pictures for the fairies and the artist artwork and how the fairies helped him to uh, talk about you know what the message they want to send to the reader and this is the cutest deck I have ever seen in my life and it's about it's, it's not the cartoony fairies this is the actual fairies that um, you hear about in Ireland and places like that. These are the old world fairies, you know, the good and the bad fairies. And the artistry is so beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that a beautiful picture? Now, I'm, uh, all of these are numbered and they correspond with, uh, the meanings in, in the book. But I just, I loved these. As soon as I seen them, I fell in love with them. And it was a toss up. Um, this is an early birthday present from my son, my youngest son, Colin. And I just, I couldn't pass these ones up. It was a toss up between this and, and the uh, a rune deck that comes with, or rune stones that comes with a pouch and a book of meaning. And as soon as I put my hands on these, they, I wanted to bring them home. Like, I just, I love, I love the art and the feeling of these cards. And that's the Puka. Here he's called the Pook, but it's the same. This is the Irish uh, shapeshifter, troublemaker of Ireland. You have stuff going wrong in your house, mostly with electronics and stuff like that. Finding your keys and uh, and stuff in a place where you did not put them, then it's usually the puka. Just amazing artistry. I love the colors. You know, these aren't the the bright. Um, Disney fairies. These are the actual, what the fairies looked like to the old world people from Ireland like in Scotland, places like that. And they're all elementals. Like, you, um, you know, if you go down into a, a riverbed or into a forest and you see an old tree that has this face on it and or you see an animal that's just kind of a little bit, you know, a little bit odd looking. And every every tarot deck that I've ever had has had a death card of some sort. These are amazingly done. If you've ever seen the movie The Labyrinth, this uh, with David Bowie, this this card reminds me of the the one of the opening scenes of The Labyrinth when the girl is talking to herself in the mirror, and all of the little uh, goblins are listening to her and waiting for her to say the magic words. Just I don't know. This this was kind of put me in mind of that movie and Jim Henson. I love Jim Henson movies. These are amazing little cards. I'm not going to show you all of them today. I just wanted to show you a, f a, a few of the beautiful cards. Uh, every time I get a new deck of cards, I, I work with them for a little while and I meditate on each card before I, I use them for readings for other people. So that is what I will be doing with these cards before I before I use them and I will be reading this book this is an amazing amazing gift from my son and I will treasure it forever 
Thank you, Colin. I love you. And that is what I've got for you today. <laughs>